Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. 2020 is first ever YouTube video. I'm so excited. But before I start with the video, let me just shout this to you all. Happy New Year, guys. I hope you all had an amazing year start. So, 2020's first ever video is a review video. I'm going to review Cards Mika collection. And before we start with the reviews, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified about all my new videos. So let's get started. I got these polishes like two to one half months ago. Uh, even before the 11.11 sale, I placed the order because when I saw the swatches posted by the cards Instagram handle, I just couldn't wait. I right away placed the order and uh, uh, so let's just talk about the packaging. If you guys have seen my previous card stamping polish reviews, then you know this is a standard packaging they have. And the box uh, has a little bit of information about the ingredients or the expiry date and uh, uh, the details of the cards office etc and the packaging it's very simple these are 9.5 ml uh, bottles and right now it is retailed at 250 rupees plus free shipping and uh, we are going to swatch all of them they have five polishes in this collection but i only got four because one color i kind of felt that it is somewhat similar to this color so i did not go for all five of them i got four of them so first up is ash rose that is the shade name and the number is ym01 so this is a beautiful ash rose pink uh, kind of a pink version and it has that uh, uh, chameleon flake is in it so if you go to their uh, website cards website in aliexpress it has clearly mentioned that you need two to three quarts to get that real opaque look so now my nails are a little tiny so two quarts were enough for me to you know get that opaque look but if your nails are longer then you really need three quarts to get that uh, real opaque look and uh, if you talk about the polish uh, chemicals and all then when you open the nail polish it has that typical nail polish smell so if you have a good brand polish like fun lake uh, the expensive ones then uh, when you open it it does not have any strong smell right so this one has that smell obviously this is not a high-end brand or anything but still manageable i don't have a problem with the smell of the nail polish i in fact like it so if you don't like the smell of that pol nail polishes then definitely this one has that smell so just a heads up and you guys can now enjoy the swatches i'm gonna put the names of the polishes in the screen somewhere and i'll be back at the end of this video
so if you have paid it to this far then um, here is the final verdict of these polishes so cards is a decent brand they have a lot of stamping plates stamping polishes two-in-one polishes gel polishes all gel related acrylic extension everything all nail related products they have and they are a pretty decent uh, brand I have a lot of their stamping plates and polishes and everything they don't dry up or you know they work really well so I strongly recommend if you are confident enough to shop from Aliexpress this brand is one of the best in Aliexpress for nail art products so that's it for today 2020's first ever video I'm gonna wind up here I will see you soon with another video and don't forget to hit like button share comment all those good things and I'll see you soon again happy new year thank you